Yeah, so in incognito mode, this is my normal admin user. And in the normal window, I'll just open uh, another user. Let me just log in once again here. Yeah. So I have one demo user. I log in with that so that it will basically act as a two different users who are have who will be on the same screen. So let's say my normal window is my user one and the incognito one is my user two. So I'll just go on the account. Now I'm on a demo account. Okay. So let me just quickly change, check the, I just take the ID so that we'll be on the same account record. Okay. So now whenever, let's say my demo user is doing some changes on the account record okay so there are two ways of communication either after doing the change the user needs to tell the whole team that yes you know i have made this change uh, you refresh your screen and see what is the changes other way is by using this emp api so that there is no uh, use of this communication the other system will automatically capture that there has been some changes and it will notify the other users that yes some changes has been done so you can refresh the screen okay so now let's say if I just try to update the rating field here. So as soon as I updated rating field as a demo user, my actual user who is let's say some other uh, user, let's say agent two, he or she will automatically get some notification that yes, they, someone has modified the record which you are viewing and you can do further processing like if you want you can ask them to uh, refresh it or you can just show a pop-up kind of stuff on the ui to display what the changes has been done so this whole process has been done uh, and it was very easily being set up by using your uh, change data capture and emp api so i'll show how we have done that first thing is we have set up a change data capture here so what change data capture will do it will uh, capture any changes which is happening on that particular object and it will fire an event okay so i go to change data capture here we have option to select the objects on so that when whatever objects you are selecting here any change happening on the record of those objects it will fire an event okay so we have used change data capture and we have selected account so any changes happening on the account record will automatically fire an event from the back end with a standard structure now we have an aura component i'll show you the aura component code where we are using with a minimal code see so this is the aura component which is basically subscribing to this particular change data capture okay so if we see on the ui we have something called emp api tag okay and by using this emp api tag we are subscribing to the change event so let's say you have uh, enabled change event for any standard object then the format is basically your object name followed by change event similarly if it is a custom object then since in custom object you have underscore underscore c in last so instead of that we will use underscore underscore change event okay so this is first to get the channel name which will be having this particular information and then next will be our subscription part okay so where we can is we can use the subscription um, subscribe method of the emp api these are out of the out of the box method which this particular tag gives so by using the subscribe method you can easily subscribe to the channel which is any channel to capture the messages which that channel is carrying with itself. Now, 
since here we are using change event instead of this you can use event platform uh, platform events as well so instead of change event it will be like e underscore e in the last so you can use any platform events as well to capture the messages and then there is so there's an attribute called messages in message in that which contains the payload okay so in my case like in the change event uh, change event handler if i show you a sample of the payload how it looks like so this is one of the sample how your payload looks like or whenever you make any change in the record of account it basically fires an event with this particular details so if you see here it will give you when it was last modified what was the change basically which field i was having change then you have something called change event handler which gives you an in-depth details of what all uh, uh, who was the committed user basically who which user has made this particular change okay what was the entity like which particular uh, object was having this change and some other informations so you can play with these particular informations around your component so if i show in the code yeah so here basically what we have done is we have found out that what are the records which has been modified and we have captured all those modified records in a, in our uh, or our components and then we have also seen who is the committed user okay so let's say if your committed user is different than a logged in user then in that case we are showcasing the messages now what is happening in oh, in total here that let's say you uh, may be made first of all when your account uh, record is getting um, loaded by using the subscribe we are subscribing to the change event okay by using this subscribe method we are subscribing to that particular change event okay now as soon as some other user or anyone is making change in the record okay that event has been published now once the event is published here the component has captured the event and then it is checking it it is started checking that whether the record on which current user is has been changed or not if it is not changed then it's okay we are not showing any kind of message or anything but if that record is in the list of modified records this variable where we have record ids which got modified then we are showcasing a message so here basically the whole game is towards your subscription and unsubscription if you uh, if let's say some person wants to unsubscribe then there is a method of unsubscribing as well into uh, this particular uh, emp api tag so this is uh, this is uh, the way you can use it in your aura components earlier there was a limitation that this was only available in aura component but i think from past two to three releases uh, they also enabled it on the lwc part so in lwc as well you can use the same lightning emp api component and you can uh, basically if you are working on lwc you can use it there instead of sticking to aura you can use in lwc as well so this was uh, one of the use case i would say where uh, we were have we were using the emp api Sim so as i was telling emp api comes with three particular methods okay basically three methods one is subscription where you are subscribing to a streaming api channel okay and then you next so that whenever any uh, message comes on the streaming api you will receive the message so next is your unsubscription so unsubscribe is basically if you don't want to you know uh, see in any message or if you want if you don't want to receive those messages you can use the unsubscribe and third is your on error so let's say when you're doing the on uh, when you're subscribing to the channel using uh, this emp api tag you can uh, if any error happens during the handshake or if any issue happens so on error will basically capture those issues so these are the three basic methods which is present in your emp api tag now if you talk about the use cases so one use case which we have just seen that uh, you know uh, if any other agent is changing the record so other agent will get notification other uh, use cases can be that you know if you want to capture uh, or if you want to keep two systems in sync let's say you have salesforce and you have some external system and you don't want to do polling every time right instead of that you can use streaming api and then you can keep the two systems in sync 
or let's say if you want to show some live updates on the record page like you like whenever you see a cricket match or something right there you see that the scores are getting updated automatically on the screen right so those types of functionality also you can build in salesforce where um, any information which has been uh, published by the events uh, you can capture it and then accordingly you can process on your record page so these are a couple of use cases which we have around uh, this particular tag there can be many more based on your uh, business requirements so yeah i think uh, this is what i had for uh, today uh, uh, if anyone is having any questions anything you can definitely reach out to me uh, and it was a it was a quite short one but yeah yeah uh, also alok uh, can you please uh, um, like mention your channel and your blog uh, link on the chat window sure sure mm -hmm. sure, sure swati i'll put that here and i'll put the link as well so if anyone wants to play around with the code on this so i have uh, one blog site where i have provided the code as well so mm -hmm. you can take a reference from there and you can uh, play mm -hmm. around Yes, yes, right. but that will be amazing. That will be great. Yes, Rishab, you can uh, please ask your questions. And whosoever is having any questions, please you can write in the chat window so that Alok can uh, take yeah. your questions. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rishab, yeah, you can ask your question. And also, Alok, do you have any um, like trailhead or something on this EMP API? Because I think most of the people are not familiar with this particular topic. So if you have some um, study links or something that it will be nice, people can go through um, that. Uh, sure, sure, definitely. Uh, I'll check and then maybe I'll put it on this because uh, usually uh, mm -hmm. I also got to know when I was experimenting on and when I was checking some of the release notes because mm -hmm. This was an issue for us as well yeah. that you know we were hitting the static resource limits and that's mm -hmm. where we got to know that this is one workaround. Exactly, exactly. Uh, yes, I think Narendra and Rishabh has put up their question, so I'll read it for you. So, or uh, Narendra is saying that uh, he was trying to implement the same using LWC. Is it possible to refresh the page also instead of just showing pop-up message? Oh uh, yeah, Narendra. I mean, we can refresh as well. So similar to like uh, what I had in my component where I was showing the message, right? Instead of showing the message, you can use the normal ref uh, force refresh uh, method of the aura component. Or let's say if you are in LWC, then you have our no uh, you have normal JavaScript methods as well to refresh the whole web, web browser. So either you can use that or maybe you can use the refresh functionalities, which is present in the um, LWC as well. So yes, it is possible. Okay. I hope Narendra, you have uh, got your answer. If you have any doubts, you can just put up your question again. And um, Rishabh is asking, when we pay using any UPI app, then after paying through the app, other app automatically updates that payment is done. And he is also asking that uh, this is also EMP API example. Uh, so Rishabh, uh, if I uh, give you a broader picture on this, okay. So this is again, it's a completely a streaming api uh, example okay where let's say any uh, let's say when you're doing the payment using the upi app okay so after the payment is done uh, the uh, information has been spread across so what streaming api do is basically uh, let's say you are a person or let's say you are a platform uh, you are an event creator okay you have created an event now whoever has subscribed to your event they will automatically capture it and same concept your upi apps also use it like after the uh, after making um, the payment it uh, it circulates an information that yes you know the payment has been done this is the success code and all now the application which has initiated the e event that has already subscribed to that channel okay and once the application receives it that yeah the payment is successfully done then it further process it so yes you can say this is also a uh, this that is also kind of emp api uh, kind of streaming events as far as my understanding is there on this okay and uh, harsh is asking shall we create a chat application using emp api uh 
chat applications yes you uh, you can you, you can definitely create it chat applications so um, basically in chat so basically emp api what it will do is whenever you're creating a chat applications right and someone responds it so you can uh, fire the event by using the platform event or anything okay and then this api can on the fly capture it on a real time basis so yes by using emp api you can definitely create a chat applications and i think there is already some some example on that not specifically on emp api but by using these types of streaming apis okay uh, narendra was confirming that um, the refresh api will refresh the page for other user in the inc in the incognito window yes yes so basically um, there is a condition so if i show you the code one second uh, swati i'll just share the screen yes once. please please you can yeah so uh, if i show there is a way actually uh, here that if you want to uh, refresh only for other users then there is a way that there is something called committed user committed user gives you the information that who has made the change okay so you can put these types of condition that if your committed user is not equal to logged in user then in that case whatever the per, uh, operation you want to perform like here i have used the toast event instead of this if you want to just use uh, windows dot refresh or something like that it will happen only for the other users not the one who has refreshed it who has done the changes okay so in this way you can control that for whom it should be refreshed or for whom it should not be refreshed i hope this answers uh yes uh he has confirmed that uh, he's got it yeah. and rishabh is asking that so emp api is specific to salesforce and in other technologies we say it's streaming api yeah yes yes emp api is basically rishabh it's a tag actually provided by uh salesforce to work on aura and lwc but in general terms this is called a streaming api which works in collaboration with your uh, published subscribe models which event driven architecture basically we call it as that uh, you know you we work on the events rather than continuously polling or checking on the other system we work on the events where any events which is being published by anyone else so for example when we use the flip card and all we get this big billion sale right so that is something which is an event which is being published by flip card that yes there is a big billion sale is coming in whoever has subscribed to the flip card they will receive the notification so that is event driven architecture on a higher level okay yeah very good example and uh, ritika is saying that uh, we already have out of box sf feature which tells or shows updated fields values if same record is opened by multiple people and they try to update same record right right yeah yeah ritika so that is also there so the example which i showed you that was one of the example EMP API can be used in other examples as well, like where you want to keep two systems into sync. Let's say your Salesforce and your other. Uh, so, for example, that let's say you are working again on a case management where you are sending the data on update of the, uh, let's say on update of uh, any of any of the field. So what we do is we send the information via future methods and we send it to third party system. Since since it is an asynchronous system, we don't know that when the response will come and all and you need to maybe you know refresh every one minute or two minute to see if the response has come in or not to avoid that also you can use emp api okay so that once as soon as you will re return the response uh, as soon as you will receive the response your screen will automatically refresh with the new data so it's not only about in the using in the salesforce but you can also use along uh, with the other systems as well to keep the different systems in sync I hope Pratika uh, that answers uh, your question. And if you have more questions, we have a couple of more minutes left. So you can definitely ask your questions here. And if uh, any topic is not clear, maybe we can just quick recap of that. Like you can post in the chat window. So Narendra is asking, let's suppose other user don't have access on rating field, which was changed by first user then what is the behavior of emp api in this case emp api will still uh, you know capture it the reason is because emp api works on your uh, json model 
okay so whatever the message coming into the emp api that is in the form of a json string if the other user is not having access to the field still it will be present in the json structure so by in backend by using customization if you're parsing it you will still be able to receive it i hope narendra uh, this answers your question and uh, uh, meanwhile alok you can share those links people are asking for yeah, you yeah 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 sure channel. and also i'll uh, um upload i'll put these links in the uh, linkedin um, which uh, i'll share one post after this session so i'll put all those links there as well sure sure so i'll just uh, post it here uh, yeah because i think this chat window won't be accessible to people uh, once this session will be closed so sure sure yeah so uh, yeah so this is my youtube channel you can uh, get more videos here and this is one of my blog site where i have given this example along with code it is present so if you want you can play around on the code also so this is my this blog is basically by using aura but still you can use lwc as well it's just that the syntax will be a little bit here and there but concept will be same great great that will be a big help for people who are learning this uh, emp api so uh, we'll wait for another minute if no one is having any questions or everything is clear then we can wind up the session and meanwhile thank you so much alok it was a wonderful uh, session and i think people got to know various things their doubts have been you know cleared and they will definitely going to play around whatever you have taught them today sure swati thanks and it was great thank when you. people start asking questions yeah this means Definitely. they are getting it <laughs> yeah yeah it will be an interactive session and also if uh, um, maybe you can uh, um, like our attendees can reach out to alok on linkedin based on his availability he can just you know reach out with your doubt also like if you don't have any question sure. right now maybe he can answer your questions over linkedin based on his availability sure i'll send my linkedin uh, uh, linkedin profile as well here so yeah. if anyone have any query or anything you can definitely reach out to me anytime yeah, it will be a big help thank you so much alok and thank you uh, all the people who have joined on a weekend thank you so much hope all of you to have a great weekend and thank you everyone for the one thank you thanks everyone thanks for your time thank you